In this video, we're taking a first look at one of the flagship features of iPad OS 14 called Scribble. So this essentially lets you use the Apple Pencil as a stylus in any text box on the operating system, and it converts your handwriting into text. So the reason we're demoing this on a Chinese learning channel like Scritter is that during the keynote, they demonstrated that it can be used for both Chinese and English at the same time. I've also been learning Chinese, so I want to surprise them with some of my progress and skills. And then I can use Scribble to write new, and then light fixture in Chinese. You'll notice how Scribble recognizes both English and Chinese. So today, we're going to try that out. As ever, if you want to improve your Chinese or Japanese handwriting and get the most out of this brand new feature for iPad, then obviously go download Scritter, which supports this channel. Scritter is essentially a flashcard app specifically designed to improve handwriting as well as Chinese tones. So download it for free today. So let's have a go at this feature. So let's open a new note. Okay, a little tip for you guys. If you go to the lock screen, you don't even need to unlock it and just tap with your pencil. That will open up a new note. So let's turn off these lines. And you'll see down here you've got the new pencil kit. And here with the little A, this basically converts your handwriting text into computer text. So this is <laughs> a note. Aina, why don't you try writing some Chinese? You can write in traditional. Yeah, Yeah, so what I found was if because my region is set to traditional or Taiwan, it converts uh simplified characters into traditional. So if I write mm. hi like this, it turns it into that. Um, so I guess you've got to change your region. Because I've already got simplified keyboard on this as well as traditional, but it seems to default to um, traditional. Yeah, and it could be good if, like I, in Taiwan, it's common to write how, which means number, like this. Uh, and then it converts it into the traditional format. So let me teach you some of the features of Scribble before we do some more Chinese. So as we learned first, we have scratch out. Then write some more in <laughs> traditional characters. Traditional characters. So what's cool with Scribble, again, you don't need to write in the upper hand. You can basically take up the whole screen. So we learned scratch out. Mm -hmm. How about if I want to select this incorrect stuff, you just draw a line through it. Mm. And as you see here, there's a little pop-up. You can actually switch between traditional and uh, simplified quite easily. So I could just go oh. boop and line again. Boop. Yeah. yeah. Uh, another feature is just a vertical line, beep, and that adds a kind of space between it and another vertical to remove the space. And finally, if you want to insert something into a line of text, like what would you tell? After that, I just hold it, and then it gives me some space to write. Yeah, and then I didn't like that. Scribble it out. Now, the cool thing of Scribble is it works anywhere that you would enter text. So let's search with my handwriting. Reminders. I could enter some stuff in here like fish. And if you wait a few seconds, it will automatically go to the next one. So, like uh, monkey. <laughs> I don't know what this shopping list is. Uh, butter. <laughs> 我觉得，因为像我自己是用iPad在画画嘛，我觉得如果跟我一样，就是很常用iPad的人，会觉得这个功能蛮好的，因为真的很常是要把笔放下来，然后干嘛，就是按一些打字啊什么的。Okay, let's open YouTube. Let's search some of the best videos on YouTube. So, Scritter, Chinese, and as you can see, it's got white text. 
uh, for dark mode, which is quite nice. So if you really like a video, you can actually handwrite it like the olden days. So let's open up a comment. And then in this little box, this is Han. Awesome. Han. Great. Han great. <laughs> let's see if this works. This is great. How? How? So another cool feature related to Scribble is if you want a note of your, you can just use your regular kind of marker pen. So why don't you use... Do you use marker pen? You can use pencil. Uh, yeah, you can use pencil. So why don't you have a go with today's example sentence, which is... He always has to Obviously, you're writing at a weird angle because we're recording, so that's why your characters look a bit uglier <laughs> than normal. So I've added square grid, which is useful for keeping in the boxes, as Aina is demonstrating. Now, use your magic finger to select. There we go. So that's pretty cool. And now, you can click this button, copy as text. And now let's tap into a text box and do paste. Boop. So that's pretty cool. So it's kind of like new machine learning. It detects this as text. Right, so that's it for <laughs> Scribble, an introduction. Obviously, this is a beta, so um, it's kind of unpredictable. But hopefully, you guys should give it a go, download it. Uh, but if your iPad breaks, don't blame us. Obviously, <laughs> back it up, use a secondary device. And yeah, give it a go. Have a go writing Chinese, see if it detects your Chinese. And if it doesn't, maybe you should probably use Use what? Scritter. Scritter, <laughs> like you. 或者是如果你有其他对科技感兴趣，但没有在学中文的朋友，也欢迎推荐我们的频道给他，因为这一位呢会非常乐意尝试各种新的科技来介绍给大家。I was just thinking, how can I convert this into a Chinese lesson? <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. Bye bye.